What's going on? Back again. Just got finished doing the interview with my man Clinton Kirker. What's going on? I appreciate him coming on, chopping it up with the lockout men. But now I am back again with a regular podcast for you guys. I want to welcome the LOM community for being here. I hope y'all still here. What do you guys think of that interview? Y'all think the interview was on point? I think so. I think so. But... It is what it is. I don't understand why I always say that and what the fuck that means, but it just kind of segue into the next s sentence of what I'm about to say. Welcome back to the Lockout Men podcast show. I am your host, Lockout Men. Thank you for being here. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell and that all button. That all button lets you know when I drop videos and when I go live. You guys come up in here, y'all chill with me, sit down, have a taste, have some coffee or whatever. If you guys want to support me with some coffee, do that by the Cash App and the coffee app which is which is in the description below well the people that are still here in the uh that's still here in the community my man christopher uh robbins trucking kb smooth d nitty you know you guys are still here you know what i'm saying but in today's episode man i want to chop it up with you guys i had somebody in the comments um teddy the trucker on point great story thank you very much man i appreciate it um in the comments I had uh, in a previous video and on Facebook, by the way, I asked somebody to, you know, come in and they asked me, Lockout Man, what, what, what do you, is you going to do a video on uh, hours of service? Is you going to do a video on that? And, you know, I looked on YouTube and I, I went to Facebook and instagram and i seen everybody talking about it mark straight from trucking answers talked about it uh trucker jim he he's talking about it on his uh channel um a couple of other guys is talking about it now i'm gonna be totally honest with you okay i don't get it i don't get it i i went i, I went to do some research to help me out to help me understand. See, I'm I'm a simple guy. I like simple things. You know, when you explain, I'm like Denzel Washington in that movie, Philadelphia. When you explain stuff to me that's complicated, explain it to me like I'm a five-year-old so that this 51-year-old can get it. You see what I'm saying? Help me understand it because it's all a mush. It's it's mish mush to me right now. The the hours of service. You know? I mean, you get eight hours, you you get eight hours of drive to your to your 30 minute break. You get eleven hours to drive. You get the three hours back after you take your break. You got 14 hours of on duty. You know what I'm saying? And then you got 70 hours to work a full week. That's simple to me. It's simple. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So now they went back and changed it. I don't get it. So this is what I found. And, and this was actually was sent to me. F FMCSA revised the hours of service regulations to provide greater flexibility for drivers without adversely affecting safety. The new hours of service regulations go into effect September 29th. So it went into effect yesterday. Number one, 30 minute break requirement requires a 30 minute break at the eight hours of driving time instead of on duty time and allows an on duty not driving period to qualify as a required break. So 
Okay, so I drive eight hours. On okay, let me let me show you guys something. Okay, this this is the clock. All right, let me see if it'll come in. See, that's the clock right there, right? That's the clock. Y'all see that? That's the clock, right? So eight hours until your break, right? So again, why make it complicated? Once you go, okay, so so what? The the clock, so the technical clock don't start until you start driving technically because when you go on duty that's when this clock starts but i'm not driving yet so 15 minutes of this clock i don't i don't lose none of that in this clock am i right does that make sense? Somebody in the comments let me know if that makes sense because I'm still trying to follow it, right? So technically, I still got my whole 15 minutes in my 11 hours, right? Instead of 15 minutes coming out of this eight hours. Stop making things complicated. That's, that's what I say. Stop making things complicated, man. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I try to. I try to understand it, but I don't know. A uh, thirty-minute break requirement under the previous rule: property carrying drivers were required to take a thirty-minute break after eight hours of on-duty time. HOS final rule number one: thirty-minute break is required after driving a total of eight hours. Driving time does not need to be consecutive without at least a 30-minute break. A 30-minute break can also be satisfied by an on-duty, not driving period. So, on the clock... I go on duty for 30 minutes, but the on-duty clock won't reset unless I go off duty. How'd that work again? All right, so previous. 30-minute break can be satisfied by off-duty and sleeper berth. The new 30 minutes can be satisfied by off-duty, sleeper berth, on-duty, not driving. Hmm. Well, okay. 30-minute break requirement. The examples on the slide assumes that the driver has driven for eight hours and need to take a 30-minute break. Previous rule only, the top log is compliant. New rule, both logs are compliant. All right. So you can take a 30-minute break, and it'll come off your driving instead of your on-duty. Okay. Next up is sleeper berth. Uh, sleeper berth provision. Provision. Modifies the sleeper berth exception to allow the driver to meet 10 hours minimum off-duty requirements by spending at least seven rather than at least eight of that period in the berth. And minimum off-duty period of at least two hours spent inside or outside the berth. Provide the two periods total at least 10 hours and that neither qualify periods counts against the 14 hour driving window. Hmm. Okay. So 
Instead of an 8-2 split, it is a 7-2 split or a 7-3 split. So you be in the sleeper berth for seven hours and you'll get whatever hours that you didn't drive or you didn't use back. And then you go off duty or go into sleeper berth and stay off for another three to reset your clock. Right. Like I said before, y'all talk to me like I'm a like like I'm a five year old so I can get this. Again, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's that's what I'm saying. If it's not broke, don't fix it, man. Sleeper birth provision allows drivers to split the 10-hour off-duty period as long as one off-duty period, whether in or out of the sleeper berth, is at least two hours long, and the other involves at least seven consecutive hours in the sleeper berth. So, again, it's a seven-two split. How'd that equal 10 hours if it's a 7-2 split? It got to be three hours, right? I mean, 7 plus 3 is 10. Uh, if, if my math is right. I mean, I'm not that good at math, but shit. Simple math I'm good at, right? I'm just saying. When used all together, neither period counts against the 14-hour driving window, though. Okay, we gotta, okay, hold on now. Hold on, wait. Yo, who we got on the line? Yo, lockout man, this KB, man. KB Smooth. What's going on, bruh? I can't call it, man. I'm turning you down the background. I was watching on the tablet. I thought I'd call it. Because I see you got a little confusion on that new hours, man. It's the 7-3 lockout, man. Basically, you know how we used to do the 8-2? Now you can do it. You can, you can get up at 7 hours and drive whatever you had left over from the day before, just like just like the 8-2, bro. Mm -hmm. But you have to take a three-hour break, not just like the 8-2. You have to stop after whatever hours you got back. You know what I'm saying? You got to take a three-hour break, and then you get the rest of your 14-hour back. So right. They basically make you so you can split early, but it has to it has to total ten hours. So seven hours, so you have to take a three hour break. It's not a seven two. My company was like we had to go through a two hour fucking thing yesterday, a phone uh like kind of thing. Uh, yeah, it's what I'm. Just yesterday, good thing I, to have a load. Yeah, it's what I'm going through right now. They they sent us email, and we we got to do we got to read you know read everything and then take a quiz afterwards. But I don't get me wrong, I get it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. But it's how they're explaining it. It's like, okay, like, drive. Like I said before, it allows drivers to split the 10 hour off duty time as long as one off duty period, whether in or out of the sleeper berth, is at least two hours long. And the other one involves at least seven consecutive hours. So I'm over here like, okay, I, I know I know seven plus three is ten. So it, it gotta be a seven three split instead of an eight two. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm exactly. saying? So this over here saying it's like confusing seven as two. Hell. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. yeah, it yeah. is. It is it is. It's 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 if it's not and I, if it's not broke, don't fix it. That's what don't I'm saying. Don't fix it. And I'm like this, bro. I only, I'm not going to use none of that lesson. That now, the 30-minute break is the only thing I can see help us lock up, man. Because now, instead of having to sit somewhere for 30 minutes, you can actually count that on duty time. Like, say you did your pre-trip, and then you do another 15 minutes checking into place. Now, you can drive eight hours straight once they get you loaded or whatever. That'll help out. So you can get more a mile straight in a row. If you're a driver like me, that you can set yourself up. Well, you can drive eight hours straight. Some drivers can't do that. No offense to nobody. No shots. But you know what I'm saying? Uh... So that helps out too. And then, like I said, that, oh, I'm going to tell you what's really confusing, Lockout, man. Mm -hmm. That adverse condition, don't do it, man. You 
Dart don't. Dart's basically saying, right, no, but, this is what you got to do wait, over wait. here. Wait, wait, wait. I haven't even got. I haven't even got to that part yet. I haven't even got to that. Oh my God, I haven't bro, got to that bro. part yet. So hold on right <laughs> okay. quick. Let me okay, let go, me keep it. Okay. Let, me, let me hold on right quick. So let me let me go to the let me go to the Nets one. Hold on right quick. Let me go to the okay. Nets one. So, go ahead. So go ahead, bro. it says that shit gonna be real. <laughs> it says when you okay. I said that part. It says when used. To, I'm I'm still on the sleeper birth part, y'all. So when used together, neither period counts against the 14 hour driving window. Eight hours of sleeper birth period by itself can no longer be excluded from the 14-hour window. All right, so it says an example. The example on the slide assumes that the driver starts his day one having just completed a 10-hour, uh, 10 consecutive hours of duty. You guys can't see the slide, but I'm just saying. Uh, none of the four, none of the four break periods counts towards the driver's, uh, window. So you guys can't see the slide, but you, you guys get the point. Next up is short haul exception. Uh, and these, I, I, I don't think this counts for me because I don't do short haul, but this says mm -hmm. expands the short haul uh, expansion, uh, exception to 150 air miles and allows a 14-hour work shift to take place as a part of the exception. So CDL carriers using the short-haul exception are not required to use RODs or EDLs or ELDs or take 30-minute break, okay? Uh, the HOS final rule extends the maximum driving distance allowed under the short haul exception from 100 to 150 air mile radius. It extends the maximum duty period from two, uh, 12 hours to 14. Example, under the previous rule, a driver based out of Perona, Perona, Peora or whatever that is could not service Chicago and St. Louis. The new rule allows the driver to service two cities as well as additional two hours to do so. Okay. Hmm. All right. So this is Peora, Illinois. So under the under the old rule, you can only go uh, only a hundred mile radius from that city. I guess. And then under the new rule, you can travel 50 miles more out of the city. Uh, see what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not a short. I don't know. Lock I, up. I don't do local driving. Yeah, I don't right. know. Yeah, go ahead. I, I, I don't know. I'm not a short haul guy. So I guess that don't pertain to us. All right. So next up. It don't. Next up is the adverse driving conditions. Go ahead, bro. This, this shit crazy. Go ahead, man. All right. <laughs> Ooh, <It's>, man. <laughs> expands the driving window during adverse driving conditions by up to an additional two hours. Under the previous rule, drivers were granted an exception to the 10 or 11 hour driving limits when unforeseeable adverse driving conditions affect their routes. The final rule extends the duty day by two hours when adverse driving conditions are encountered. In addition to the two hours of drive, driving time already allowed and applies to both, property carriers 14 hour driving window and passenger carriers 15 hours on duty limit number two update the adverse driving conditions definition to include the role of the driver okay so example a driver is 15 miles from his destination when there's a gravel spill on the bridge ahead the bridge is only access, it's the only access to the destination. Driver has one hour left of drive time on, I mean, one hour driving time and one hour left on driving D. 
day. Driver can stop at the next exit for up to two hours until the road is clear and still have time to get to the destination without violating the H the HOS rules. Okay, so wait. I'm 15 miles away from my destination, right? Mm-hmm. So what this is saying is that after the bri- after all that shit is cleared and my hour is up, <laughs> I can go to the I, I I could go to the next stop and hold up there for two hours. And yeah, Mark, tell, bro, bro, go ahead. No, no, go go ahead. It, it, explain that to me. The way I was okay, the way my company explained it is, yeah, yeah, that's it. It's like you could go, yeah, two hours, like, but I'm like, that don't make no damn sense. And then it's like, it's like like that, like that explanation your company sent you. It's got to be a stream, something that's not normal. Like, it can't be normal traffic, Chicago or, 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 or New York, Atlanta. It's got to be tractor trailer flips over out of nowhere, or God out of heaven, splits the road, the, the, the earthquake moves. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be some dumb craziness. Real talk, lock out, man. It's like. So, yeah, so basically, like you said, you can move. Once they clear all that bullshit up, you can move. But this is what my company makes me do. You got to call in to safety. If they off duty, you got to call in to whatever FM, night, you know, night dispatch, whoever there, annotated on your law. Hey, bridge blew up, whatever, rock salt, whatever happened to you. got to annotate everything to the T. Now, you go ahead, do what they say, move over there two hours, shut down, whatever, whatever, right? The next day, you got to call in the safety and laws again and explain to them and make sure that everything fits the criteria of what the FMCSA says, advert condition or not, you're still in law violation. I'm like, motherfucker, you know what? I'm going to use peace. I'm going to do what I've been doing. I'm going to either, if shit happened like that lockout, I'm going to just say, hey, no, you know, I'm going to drive to the nearest safe. Hey, they just opened the road up. That's it, bro, because there's too much gray area. This, that, that, that whole adverse condition, it just... Yeah, you I'm, know, I'm not doing you it know as what? A I, I, yeah. I I think that I I think that adverse adverse conditions is gonna fuck up a is gonna fuck a lot of drivers. It up. is. I, it I, is. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like this. Look, if I get into an adverse condition, all right, I'm gonna hit PC. I'm gonna hit PC. Exactly. Drive to the nearest. Uh, drive to the. Y'all see the air quotes. Drive to the nearest safe haven, especially if I only got mm-hmm. 15 miles to go to the nearest safe haven. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, so go ahead. the yep, nearest. Go ahead. So <laughs> when you get pulled over, you you get pulled over. You tell the DLT or the officer, "Hey, the bridge blew up, gravel spill. I was hemmed up there, and the nearest safe haven is 15 miles away." But then, you driving two hours here. Go ahead. Yeah. Right. The nearest, the, the, and they'll be like, "Wait, wait, ain't the ain't 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 you, you passed 15? like three safe havens? Yeah, go ain't, ahead. Ain't, go ain't ahead. you ain't, ain't the safe haven you going to is is in route to your destination? You're low, so you forward in the low log violation. Yep. <laughs> but wait a minute. You driving without hours log violation. Yep. But wait a minute. My safe haven is 15 miles away, bro. I did not see no I, I I did not see no loves. I ain't seen no petrols. I ain't seen no no pilots, no mom and pops. The next exit is 15 miles away. Now what? Exactly. Now what? Uh now the driver's gonna get themselves screwed like I mean, like you said, go ahead. Now what? You know, so <laughs> technically, I I'm still in violation because I got to find I I got to find a safe haven shut down for 2 hours anyway. Exactly. Bro, <laughs> come on now. Come on now. What I, you say earlier lockout man? If I, it ain't broke don't fix it. it Why are they making this, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't I I don't got it. it it's I I don't get it. I don't get it, man. I I don't I don't get it. I'm a rump. I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, two you 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 still okay. So all right. So instead of going, well, me I'm going into PC, but 
what they saying is you're not in PC. You're still in driving. You're driving in violation. Get to a, a get somewhere, post up for two hours, and then that violation is cleared? Basically, that's what they're saying because it stops your 14-hour clock. Once that two-hour mark, that's what, that's what my company explained to me. Dar said, your 14-hour clock will stop. And then now, so basically what it's saying is technically they're giving you two extra hours. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, the violation will go away, so now you're not in violation. But there's so many, it's, you can see, like, I uh, mean, it's too much gray area that drivers, especially new drivers coming out of prime, whatever, you know, these new millennials, they don't say, man, that shit confused. Already you're trying to learn the regular 70-hour, 8-hour day, the 14-hour, 11 hour. Now you're going to throw this at them? You're going to throw this craziness? The uh, Dart already said over here, company drivers not doing none of that. They're not doing this, but this is all only independent owner operators doing it. And even with us, yeah, you better be. You better know what the hell you're doing. We had to do that two hour class on, like, on the Lumina training over here. We had to pass it, and even the DM our FM over here had to call and make sure, like, hey, do you fully really understand? Because basically, if you fuck up, that's your ass. Excuse my language, y'all. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I man, I, I'm running I, I my hour, like you said, man. Like I've been doing. I agree. I'm doing a PC. If I run out of hour, I'm a PC to the junk and chill. If it's if it's where the load going, so be it. Yeah, because that way. I ain't never had knock on this dash in my truck. I ain't never had no law violations since I've been out here going on five years. So, you know what I'm saying? This is just too much. You know what I'm saying? Why are they even doing it? I don't even make no sense. Uh, the only thing I see helping us is the 30-minute lockout, man, and maybe the split and say uh, some reason that something held you up the day before so you just shut down early. Like, say, okay, take this lockout, man. That same situation, right? So once it jumped, you didn't run out of hours. You had enough hours. The bridge blew up right after you left. You was just starting your day. What I would do is use the split better than that damn average. I'll be like, okay, I'm going to just shut down. I, then I'm going to get up seven hours le- early and just drive because now I got my full whatever I did you because I just started my day. Exactly. That makes more sense. Then when I get to the place, you know, my average place, how long do you think you get unload, live unload? Because that's what I do because I'm, I'm on, I, I don't drop a hook no about, more. About two average hours? Average is about three, four hours. Right. Two, two or three hours. So, bam, that's it. Even if they get you done before the two hours, creep on over there to the corner. Most places don't say nothing. Finish that three hour break. Now you can roll. That's what I'm gonna do, bro. I ain't doing nothing else. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. All right. So <laughs> all right. So we got a few we got a few comments that came in. DJ D says, I like my okay. eight hour I like my eight hour clock not running unless I drive. I just started the new HOS the other day. And Teddy the trucker says, Does that affect team drivers? I am not sure. It did not go into specific as far as uh, team driving goes. But if you want, it, it, down at the bottom, if you want, uh, you can go to the CFA.gov. Well, mm-hmm. Wait, dot, and that's dot, D-O-T, dot, regular period, dot, gov, G-O-V, documents, all underscore HOS underscore fat sheet, I mean, underscore sheets, underscore 508. So you definitely could go there and, and, and find out whether, you know, whether it's, you know, the HOS can, you know, if it's for teams or whatever. But again, man, this, like I said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't fix it. Now, as far as as far as what me and uh, KB is saying about the thirty minute, then I the way KB explained it to me, like I said, you know, explain it to me, I get it. So technically, I can be like you said, I can be at a shipper getting unloaded, or I can I can or not unloaded. I'm sorry, I'll be off duty. Uh, I could be. I know at, right at, yeah. at the, at the <laughs> I could be at the fuel station, like. I could be on duty fueling, mm-hmm. on duty doing my pre trip and all like that, and then thirty minutes, thirty minutes is gone. Boom, you could bounce. Yep. I can drive. But the old rules is you got to have the off duty. I had to be a straight thirty minute off duty. Now right. that's what I'm saying. That helps out. Yeah, go ahead. Right. But let me ask you this though, because I'm I'm scratching my head again, and I'm 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 looking at my I'm I'm looking at my 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 my, my clock. All right, so. I got the eight hour until break clock. That's the eight hour until break. But uh-huh. as you as you said, we can we can on duty take our break or on duty thirty minutes, and then we could just drive straight eight. Yes, sir. 
Okay, so instead of seven and a half on the drive, we got that extra half an hour to drive our straight eight before we need to take Back. another break, right? Yeah. To get our 30 minutes, I mean, to get our three uh, to get our three back, right? To continue mm -hmm. to drive. Mm -hmm. Here's yeah. here's where I'm scratching my head at, bro. Why not, if we already did the half an hour break, why can't we just drive our straight 11? See? Ooh, damn, you just you just hit, yeah, you just busted in the nose. Damn, my you. man, you're right. Thank you. If we already, if it already says, and it says right here, it says 30 minute break is required. Let me let me bring this. Let me see if I can bring this. Damn, I can't even bring it up. But uh it says right here. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Hold on, hold on. Uh wait Okay, I'm I'm, I'm looking at you on my towel because you're about hold to bring on. it up, right? Okay. Well, no, I can't bring it up. I can't bring it up live. This would be this would be the pre-recording. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, this would be the, okay. Now nah, I just brought it up. All right, so 30 okay, no problem. I, I'll redo, I'm gonna relook at this. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so 30 minute break is required after driving a total of eight hours. Eight consecutive hours. Mm -hmm. During uh, drive time does not need to be consecutive without at least a 30 minute break. Okay, so yeah. previous 30 minute breaks can be satisfied by off duty sleeper berth. All right, so we drive. Yeah. We, we drive the on-duty drive for 30, I mean, for eight hours, we take our 30-minute break. The new rule says we can do our 30 minutes on-duty, not driving. So if we're not driving and we satisfy that 30 minutes on-duty, then why then can we drive our straight eleven? But they're gonna say no because if you look at the FMCSA, as far as you know, that's why we got to get a DLTL figure. They said a human person needs a break within an eight-hour period. So no, they're not gonna let you drive that straight eleven, dog. Mm -hmm. This ain't outlaw trucking back when they was running three law. But no, you ain't driving no straight eleven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? I see mm -hmm. what you're saying. Though. It makes mm -hmm. sense. You you making sense, bro? Mm -hmm. But they're not gonna fool with that. But but uh, to me, it gives you an extra thirty minutes. Cause on my car, I don't know how you run your car. I do a fifteen-minute pre-trip, but you vary it because you want you know what law don't say just. 15 every day so maybe i do a 14 17 you know what I'm saying? anyway do that then i run my thing it t makes me take a break before the 7 30 so seven and a half hour because right as you get close it'll say hey you need to take a 30 minute break you have 15 minutes left to drive so you know what i'm saying so i'm already looking like hey well i need to pull i got my app my spark truck right okay the truck's not coming up oh it was a walmart or there's a rest area, blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to pull over, sit, or do whatever, exercise, whatever, for 30 minutes. Fuck off, human labor, whatever. 30 minutes later, or 31 minutes later, boom, I'm gone. Because my company wants me to log in for one minute minimum. So I, I can't just run. Because it makes sense because they had drivers getting in violation. Because you know how your, your clock resets? 30 minutes, I get my time back down to three hours, right? I'm gone. No, you got to wait one minute because their computer might not register. So if you take off soon, your shit say 30, it kind of don't register. So let's say you did a 29 and a half minute, whatever, whatever. So I had to do the minute thing and I'm gone like I'm in. So yes. the way they saying is now you can run that full eight, then but like seven hours and 55 minutes, you need to be pulling over, you know, again, you know, to do a break. And then you can get the rest of the two hours. But I get no three hours because they that. Yeah, this shit is still kind of confusing, bro. God damn. Because <laughs> you still going to have to do it. Regardless, you still going to have to do a 30 minute break, but you don't have to just go off duty or a sleeper bird. Now you can do it on duty, like you said, going in a shipper or going in a fuel island. You know what I'm saying? All that counts towards your 30 because it's on duty time now. So I'm going to just run my clock like I've been doing, bro. I'm just being real. I'm just going to run this shit like I've been doing. <laughs> hold, hold on, right quick. Hold on. <sighs> hold on, right quick. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man, that's 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 crazy. That that is. It's a lot of gray area. A lot of drivers gonna get jacked up. Yeah, go ahead. It is a lot of it is a lot of gray area in that, man. And yeah, all right. So yeah, y'all. So that's the uh, new hours of service brought to you by me, myself, Lockout Men, 
and my special guest phone call. I mean, check in. KB the trucker. Is it uh, KB Smooth? God damn it, man. It's two of y'all. KB Smooth okay. the trucker. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate uh I appreciate you uh jumping on right quick with me, man. And um uh, and no uh, problem, chopping man. up with me right quick. Uh where you at though, yeah, man? You be- oh, I'm up here uh upstate New York, Syracuse, been sitting here two days because the damn uh load, the, the 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 warehouse didn't have the capacity for the load, so they paid me three hundred dollars to sit on it for two days. All right, that's but I'm delivering up. today, man. I'm about to roll. I'm about to get the hell out of this northeast, man. I'm tired of it. They they on some foolishness. I but uh, you. I appreciate you at always, like I'm man. I'm about to get ready to go in here, grab me some grub, some coffee. Hey, y'all can cash at me too, some coffee, dog. This place, like I'm in. But dog, uh, you be good, brother. Uh, it's been a pleasure, man. And I'm um, be safe, man. I'm gonna get this load, get it done. You know what I'm saying? Hump day, baby. All right, I appreciate you, bro. Take it easy, man. All right, you too, one. KB Smooth on the check in, y'all. So yeah, that's um, that's forty uh, hours of service. Uh, again, man, like I said, I I don't know, man. Hours of service, I don't know. Jeez, hours of service, man. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's all. That's all I'm saying. If it's not broke. Do not fix it. That's all. Well, that's it for this episode of Lockout Men Podcast, man. I do appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys listening. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button. That all button lets you know when I drop videos and go live. Make sure you do that and, you know, share. You know, it lets you two know that you're fucking with me. I'm just saying, if you guys want to hook me up, you know, support the channel, you can do that by hitting me up with some coffee. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up with that. The cash app and the and the uh, the cash app and the coffee app is in the description below. And if you want to hook KB Smooth, KB Smooth, the trucker over some coffee too, hit him up. I don't know what his cash app is, but, you know, hit him up with some coffee too, man. You know, brother man thirsty. We doing the work. You know what I'm saying? All right, so on that note, I appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you to the LOM community for remaining because it's not over. But until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Peace. Searching, 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 and searching, and searching, searching.